what's the name of your business? Uh, our business is This Little Light Art Class. So where are we today? Um, you all are at This Little Light Art Class and we're in Old Hickory, Tennessee. And where is Old Hickory, Tennessee in relation to the rest of the world? Old Hickory is just outside of Hermitage and Madison. We're kind of right in the, in the middle of those two communities. How far are you from downtown Nashville? We're about a 15 minute drive on a good traffic day from <laughs> downtown Nashville. And on a bad traffic day, it's like six hours. Uh, it takes forever, it does. And how long have you been here? We've been in this location for six years now. How long have you been in Tennessee? I have been in Tennessee all my life. I was born and raised in Nashville. I started um, about 20 years ago, and it was just after my children had left home. I have a son and a daughter. They left home, went to college, and went away, and um, it was kind of an empty nest syndrome. I needed a hobby or a habit or an addiction or something <laughs> to get me through missing them, so I started taking uh, beginner glass classes, and it just grew into a passion. and. You know, 20 something years later, uh, this is what I'm doing. And so tell me like what kind of glass you work with because when I came, I thought we were like gonna blow glass and I was like, wow, a bunch of fire and little kids. I don't know about all that, but okay. <laughs> we do primarily kiln fired glass here. And, um, but I also do stained glass. I started off doing just stained glass and I started to learn more and more about heating glass in a kiln and how we can form it and shape it into different uh, items, either practical items to use in your home or something just decorative or for wall art. And um, that's what we do here is kiln fire glass. We actually have to buy our glass um, and I could buy it from a glass manufacturer. Most of the time I either have to have it shipped in or I'll take a trip and go pick it up because there are no glass manufacturers in the state of Tennessee. So I end up having to buy the glass that we use for, um, for stained glass and for kiln firing. Probably the most proud moment was doing a mosaic piece that we uh, presented as community art. And we did a piece with, uh, with a little boy and a little girl uh, depicting Music City and how art is uh, a healing element. So we did that as a community piece and I'm really proud of that one. And where is that piece now? The piece now is at our studio and we are awaiting word on exactly where they will live uh, for the rest of their lives. But right now we have them in our studio and we're doing a little bit of fine tuning polishing and cleaning and getting them ready for their public debut. Uh, the thing that I think most people don't know is that you don't really have to be afraid of glass. If you use it sensibly, uh, then all of the old teachings about stay away from it, you'll get cut, you know, broken glass is dangerous and all of that. True, all of that is true, but if you are sensible and careful, you can use it and make it into anything that you want just about. Uh, glass is something that can be molded. Uh, when we fire our glass, it becomes molten like honey. So there are so many forms of glass and so many ways you can use it. And people only think of the window that you look out of or the stained glass window that you see in a church. And you can come here and make your own bowl or plate, a platter, something for your wall, anything. You can. You ever make countertops? That's like, I saw someone in California or Oregon, one of my friends, they used epoxy and pieces of glass and made countertop. It was I have really seen cool. those done and they are so beautiful. And in fact, we've even um, just given some of our scrap glass to a, an artist who was going to do a resin epoxy type uh, countertop. Yeah. So that is something you can do with glass. I'm like, ooh, I need one of those. I don't know how, I don't know, like, I don't know the the practicality of it all, mm -hmm. but I mean, they put everything else in resin. It's right, like, right. You go to bars and they have like, what is all this stuff? Yeah, yeah. So you can use it and you can create glass figures that can go in the glass or just use scraps like a mosaic. 